वी विल टेक दिस रूलर एंड प्लेस इट इन बिटवीन दीज बुक्स इफ आई टेक दिस मेटल ब्लॉक विच इज वेरी हेवी एंड प्लेस इट ऑन द रूलर वॉट विल हैपन द रूलर विल बेंड स्लाइटली Now let me change the position of the block and keep it vertically. Will ruler bend the same amount? Let us give it a try. This time ruler bent more. What could be the reason for this? It is the same block after all. Force applied is the weight of the block. We just change the way block is placed. Only things which has changed is the area in contact with the ruler. same force is applied on less area if we measure the ratio of force applied and area it is more when block was placed vertically this ratio is called nothing but pressure i have two nails one with pointed end and one with blunt end which one i should hammer in the wooden block if i use this blunt nail and try to hammer it it won't go very far hammer is applying the same force but iron nail is going nowhere if i use the nail with pointed end instead same force of hammer gets the nail into the wall that means sometimes knowing the amount of force is not enough you have to know how the force is distributed on the surface of impact for the pointed nail force applied was concentrated on a very small area for the blunt nail the force was distributed on a large area this concept can be precisely defined by a term known as pressure it is the amount of force exerted per area pressure means how much one object is pushing on another object it is usually more convenient to use pressure rather than force to describe the influence on other objects place this pin between your thumb and index finger now gently squeeze the pin and note the sensation which end of the pin causes pain pointed one or blunt one as per newton's third law the force exerted by the pin on the thumb is equal in magnitude and opposite in direction to the force exerted by the pin on the index finger then what is the difference it is the pressure pressure at the point end of the pin is much greater than the pressure at the blunt end this is because the area covered by the pointed end is much smaller than the blunt end for the same force pressure will be more at the pointed end than at the blunt end remember that pressure is the force per unit area if i poke you with this finger it might irritate you it won't have any lasting effect either what will happen if i apply the same force but now instead of finger use needle the same force is good enough to get the needle into your body any idea which concept we are discussing it's pressure pressure is defined as force per unit area the si unit of pressure is pascal which is newton per meter squared how much is one pascal if dimension of the paper is 1 meter by 1 meter and it weights 100 gram we can say that it is applying a pressure of 1 pascal on the table there are many other units other than pascal which are used commonly atmospheric pressure is measured in millibars tire pressure is mentioned in psi pounds per square inch blood pressure it still refers to millimeters of mercury pressure is defined for solids liquids and gases but it's particularly important for gases and liquids here is a small pin pointing upward if i place balloon on it and press it gently what will happen it will burst now instead of one pin let me place a rubber with 100 pins closely placed together what will happen if i place the same balloon over these pins and press gently will it burst no it will not i can even put one liter bottle on it why balloon did not burst this has to do with pressure do we apply identical force 
pressure was much greater when single pin is used. This was not the case when collection of pins were used. Force applied got distributed over a large area. Hence less pressure was applied to individual place. Summary We learnt about a new concept, pressure. Pressure means how much one object is pushing on another object. It is usually more convenient to use pressure rather than force to describe the influence on other objects.